would ever say that Chandravati was once a battered housewife who lived in fear of a drunken husband returning home every night to her seven children. All dreams were shattered when Chandravati was just 30 years old. Who would ever say that Dinesh roamed the streets and by lanes of the old city of Delhi wandering aimlessly from dawn to dusk? Who would ever say that Kanta belonged to a community where women are oppressed and treated as second-class citizens in the village she lives in? This is the story of just three individuals who through determination and the courage to dream have conquered life's disappointments. This is the story of an institution that believes in reaching out with compassion for the community. St. Stephen's Hospital Chandravati was once a battered wife of an alcoholic husband. She came to the community center at Nandnagri for treatment. In the course of time, she enrolled in the Women's Society Help Group, reaching out for help and support, both financially and psychologically. Chandravati was instrumental in setting up the spice unit marketing through the society. And today, she markets the freshly ground spices at St. Stephen's Hospital, as well as to other outlets around the city, including fast food chains. She's on the move from place to place to market the products of the society and has a turnover of 2.5 million rupees. The outlet at the entrance of St. Stephen's Hospital is the shining example of empowerment, where Chandravati is providing employment to others with similar backgrounds. My name is Chandravati. I have been associated with this cooperative for 12 years. I have five daughters and two sons. My husband is an alcoholic and I have been a battered housewife with many problems. I approached St. Stephen's Hospital for help and joined them. I have 18 ladies working in the cooperative whose families are doing well. I have got two of my daughters married. All of us are grateful to St. Stephen for all their help and support. Dinesh is a child from an impoverished background whose life has changed. He studied in a government school and has a developed mind. This has been made possible through the Child to Child Education Program of the Community Health Project through which Dinesh has been able to finish his basic schooling and technical education. Today, Dinesh works for a multinational bank and is an icon to the youth in the community where he grew up. My name is Dinesh Kumar. I live in Sundar Nagri. I belong to a labor class family and have been attached to St. Stephen's Hospital since childhood. I studied here and in the beginning I was a child volunteer and then a youth volunteer. I completed my education and today I work for a multinational bank. I am recognized in society and I am grateful to St. Stephen's Community Health for all the help as I have been able to build my career and confidence in life. When Kanta joined the self-help group of the Community Health Project organized by St. Stephen's Hospital in the village in Gurgaon on the outskirts of Delhi, her family had little or no source of income. Kanta was given a loan to start a small provision store and a beauty parlor in her neighborhood. Today, Kanta is the main earning member of the family and goes out of her way to ensure that ladies in a village are treated with respect. 